Hi and welcome to the next uh, workshop which is looking at the local mesh controls for a CFD. We've done the global mesh controls and now it's looking at uh, local mesh controls. Now the objectives for this one is to look at the different kind of methods like what we did before, looking at multi-zone, sweep, patch, confirmation, tetrahedrons, but this time we're going to be enforcing some local sizing edges and faces with some local inflation and do some selective meshing um, approaches. So the way to open this um, model, there's a many different ways of doing it, but the quickest way is to go to your download folder um, and in your download folder you will find this file called valve and it's the mesh file that's needed, as you can see here, the mesh data file. Um, and if you just drag this and drop it into your workbench, it will automatically import it in for you. Now, once that's imported, don't worry about the explanation mark here. What we want to do is double click on the mesh. First thing we want to do is make sure our units are set to millimeters. That's good. And also in the mesh, we want to change that to CFD and fluent solver, um, as this for local sizing for CFD only. Now, in the geometry, we've got two parts, part one and part two. Part two is not needed, that's mainly for the FEA side, which we will be using for the next video. So what we can do is uh, suppress this body, and we've got the part one file that's needed there. Now, once we've got that, we can move on to the next thing, which is looking at the sweepable methods of bodies. So again, mesh, right click on this, um, and what we want to do is we want to show the sweep of bodies and what you'll find is it's identified fully bodies that could be used um, as a sweepable method. Uh, the center obviously is being quite complex days um, as a patch confirmation tetrahedral meth and the remaining body will use multi-zone. So what we want to do is make sure that in the sizing, we've got capture, um, uh, capture curvature turned on, which is good here. And what we want to do now is, as I said before, whilst there's uh, no mesh, everything's visible, we can give it the name selections. So inlet and the two outlets. So outlet one to the body a little bit, so this one, and left two. Now, obviously on this side here, you can see that there's four smaller um, uh, surfaces, um, and what we want to do is we want to zoom in a little bit, select the first one, press N on the keyboard, make sure it applies to the geometry and items the same, and call this one outlet three. Press OK, and if I go on to my name selections, you'll see that Outlet 3 has selected all four because they are the same geometrical feature and size. So the next thing what we want to do is obviously the multi-zone um, for non sweepable bodies. So what we want to do is we want to select this body here, which is non sweepable body. It could be used to mesh cases where multiple source faces are there. Sweep supports only single source faces. So in the mesh and the outline, switch to view to isometric, select the uh, filter to the body. So filter to body, select this body here, right click, insert, um, that won't work on there. So mesh insert method. And in that method here, the method needs to change to uh, multi-zone. And what we want um, is the surface mesh method here to be uniform. Okay. Um, now, once that's done, um, we can leave the other settings as default. Um, and what we want to do now is insert in some face sizing. So, um, in the outline, the name selection um, of outlet three. Um, and what we want to do here is. Um, give it some face sizing. So outlet three, insert, um, insert items into select items into a group. Okay. Um, now this will select all the faces contained within that group name selection. The outline, right click on the mesh and insert sizing. So mesh insert sizing, and in here. 
is automatically selected the four faces as you can see um, straight away. Now, once that's done, we want to put a element size of 0 0.5 mil and keep everything else as default, so no soft, that's fine. And what we want to do now is um, select some edge sizing. Now, what we want to do is select the edges and you can see that these edges around here they're all um, broken um, into four segments so select the edge and what we want to do is select um, each one um, of these so press control select those and then if we go to the extend uh, to the limits and it would go all the way around until they're limited and then what we want to do is right click insert sizing and it's automatically knows the edge sizing. And here the element size is going to be 0 0.8. As you see, it's a bit more finer around those. So we've got the face sizing, we've got the edge sizing done for those. Um, so the next thing what we want to do is insert edge sizing along uh, the outlet three again. So here what we want to do is uh, create another edge sizing this time to control the multiple the multi zone sweep so here and if we grab the top edge here um, right click insert sizing and give it a value of two mil um, and that should be done for this one um, and what we're going to do now is move on to the sweepable methods so here we've got to select the bodies and we know which bodies are sweep methods. So we know it's this one here, this one here, and this one here, um, highlighted previously. And we want to mesh insert method. And the method here is going to be sweep. And the program controlled um, element method um, algorithm is. Uh, Um, automatic nose, nose. Okay. the sweep element size we want to change that to element size is going to be two millimeters on bias everything else looks fine use global settings okay And here where it says there's a source that we need. Um, and the source obviously here is the um, target and source. So if we change that to manual, and here we can select the three faces, press apply. So those have been selected. And now insert the patch confirmation tetrahedral method uh, to the inner body. So again, select that, select this one here, insert method, and what we want to do this time here is method is going to be tetrahedrons, and it's patch confirming, um, and we're happy with that, so rather than the automatic method. Now, to inflate the multiple multi-zone method, uh, right-click on the multi-zone outline um, on the selected inflate, this method will uh, provide a uh, context menu. So if we go to the multi-zone method here, insert um, the inflate this method um, is shown. And on here is asking for the four faces, so the boundaries. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, apply. Now we want to change the smooth transition to total thickness. We want to change that to three. 1.2 and it's going to be 1.25 millimeters okay so that's all that done for this section um, and what we want to do is inflate the sweep method so again if we go to sweep method um, and inflate this method and again here is looking for uh, the edges so again here what we want to do is we want to 
there's going to be four, four here, four there. So again, select one, two, three. Extend these to the limits. Okay, press apply, and you'll see the 12 edges. Total thickness, rather than smooth transition, three and 1.25. So all of those have been done. Now, what we want to do is we want to hide uh, some bodies because we want to inflate the patch confirming method um, as well. So it's best to keep the cylinder in the middle itself. So if we select these bodies here, press F9 on the keyboard, it will hide those bodies, leaving that we can fully work on our central part. So the patch confirmation method again, um, here we want to right click and inflate this method um, and it will apply what we need to do. And the key thing here is that we want to be able to select all the um, bodies so the body's been selected but we want to select around about 25 faces um so check the faces that are selected so what we want to do here is we could press Control a press apply and you'll see it says 29 so it's too many faces and we know that the faces that we don't need are the ones here so click on that press Control, deselect deselect, deselect, and deselect, apply. So now we have our 25 faces that we need in order to do this. So what we want to do is with the inflation is first layer thickness. So first layer thickness. First layer height is going to be 0 0.009. The rate um, is going to be 1.1. And the maximum layers is going to be two. Okay, uh, we can see that there now. Um, and now what we can do in the graphic window, right click and show all bodies. So right click, show all bodies. So you can see all our bodies that have come through. So we need also need to insert a body sizing as well uh, for the central body as shown. Um, so again, here, select body, insert sizing, and you'll see that the body sizing appears. Now with that body sizing, what we want to do is um, change that to one millimeter of the element size. Um, the advanced side of things will just leave it as default. So default featuring size is that 1.2 is the growth rate um, and no for everything else. Um, so in the quality details, we want to set the smooth into high. So again, clicking on the mesh. We can go to the quality um, and where it says smoothing, change that to high. Um, and then that's ready for the mesh measure. So, so start selective meshing. So in order, if we press mesh generate now, it will do everything individually. So what we want to do is we want to select um, individual bodies and mesh those um, generally. So what you can do is go into the mesh and start recording. Um, and what this does basically it records each of the steps uh, that we've done so switch back to the geometry um, and what we want to do is we'll select this part of the body first so select this right click and generate mesh on selected bodies um, and that's what we want to do once we've done that you will see uh, the mesh obviously now has been done just for this section here. Um, so if we go back to the workshop, meshing one is done. Um, so this workshop will record the operations. So now that we've seen that, um, we can then go to um, the other sections and go and start doing those as well. So what we want to do is select the sweepable methods, generate selected bodies. You can see that that one's done, and the uh, worksheet you can see that the meshing has been recorded as well. Um, go back to geometry, um, select the last one, okay. 
Okay, so everything is done. Um, it looks a slightly a bit different compared to the workshop um, image, but again, not a huge issue because this is using different multiple um, mesh algorithms uh, to do the final model. So you can go to the worksheet and you can, you know, um, it's all recorded, everything that we need there, um, and you can use that for the reports later on. So the one thing that we want to do is uh, click on the plus Z, make sure that's right there, come up with a selection plane cut straight through the middle so we can see what's happening inside um, and as you can see which looks good and again you can look at the quality of the mesh as well um, so if you go to check quality here look at the orthogonal quality And what you will find is it's slightly similar um, or it may be slightly a bit different. Again, you know, it's never ever the same value. So, um, okay, and now we're ready to move on to the next uh, workshop, which is using the local sizing for an FEA model.